We'll get a new one soon. Clearly, WMWA is running the roster. Whoop his ass, Drake. Whoop his ass. Remember what happened? Come on, you bumblebee motherfucker. Kick his ass. Bumblebee tuna. Bumblebee tuna. Are we locking up here? At, uh, rising above eight. We are at the start of the Supreme Invitational, the 2012 Supreme Invitational. With our first quarterfinal matchup, Taylor Made versus Eric Drake. We got uh, all four quarterfinal matches here today. It's going to be a hell of a show. Uh, we're all going to know who, who the four semifinalists are by the end of it. And we got all three titles on the show later too. So I mean, it's going to be a going to be a packed packed show to say the least. Very much single leg. Well, these two boys met last week. I uh, had a little bit of mutual respect afterwards, but. Uh, I think that's kind of gone out the window now with uh, Taylor and uh, aligning himself with all those other young prospects and up-and-coming wrestlers. You said you had that under control. What, what happened? Look, I'm going to address that later. Okay. I can't really, I'm not at liberty to discuss right now. Press conference? Um, possibly, possibly. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but uh, ho I'm, I'm looking for answers for them too, but hopefully we can get a little revenge before we get some answers, you know. Drake, uh, Drake's the first guy to get a crack at one of them. Ah, damn! Oh! Damn! First fuck up for the ring! Wow. Show him my power! Rinker? That couldn't have not felt good. <laughs> Over the second rope it goes. I think the wrinkle was pressed First right botch now. of 2012. It's in the books. Well, we've had botches last show, but uh, that's just that ring malfunction. Nice mafia kick there by uh, Taylor Maid. Vod, you said it, not I. Taylor Maid, though, has had uh, decent control during the majority of the match so far. Well, I mean, Drake was about to get a little momentum, and then he used too much momentum, and the rope killed it, you know? So. Well, that was after Taylor Maid Irish whipped him into it. Yeah, that's true. I, I, I thought. I right, though, he's not the smallest guy. Oh. Yeah, no, Taylor's big. I mean, he did thin down. Oh! Ooh. Big sidewalk slam. <laughs> Gotta give some propers there. The to Mr. Deep. Taylor made. Come on! Who's, you know, who got one of his first big win of the year last last week, beating Eric Drake, and uh, he, he's hoping to do it again here today and move on to that Supreme Invitational. The winner Rimple the bastard. does get a title match whenever they choose against the uh, Supreme Champion. Uh, the Supreme Champion is still eligible to defend his title against uh, people that are not in the tournament, if he'd like. Like today, later, Bouncer's gonna be fighting Evan Payne and Angel Dust, both of those two guys making their 2012 uh, in-ring debuts uh, against Bouncer, who also is making his 2012 debut. He was full show last week, so. Maybe we'll get some answers about that. Got three guys, and uh, should be a pretty good matchup. Evan's the grappler, Angel's a high flyer, and, and Bouncer's just a straight brawler. Speaking of brawling, there's a nice clothesline from Drake. So here, you can tell Drake's already had it taken to him, the fucking rope, which he's not thrilled about. Trying to use it as a weapon, but uh, you think he's still going to be able to. He's working on Oh, backer got some explaining to do. That was a shoot. Speaking of backer, he's also in the Supreme Invitational Tournament. He'll be fighting CJ Price later on. So did you purposely put all the veterans against all the rookies? Well, I mean, that's what I thought would be best. I thought after that, you know, it would be the best way to go. And I was, and I was concerned with this new little faction. Big kick to the head. <laughs> Big kick to the head. Good stuff, good stuff. I got some, I figured that that I was afraid that the prospects might not want to wrestle each other. Or we might, you know, you know, we might get some Hogan Nash yeah. stuff going on. I'm not a fan of. We don't want to see that. No, we don't want to see that here. Definitely is about the competition. And uh, I don't want that getting in the way. Good. 
trying to get to the remaining rope, the second one. And of course the rest are right there. It's going to be hard to tell uh, if that rope snapped because of uh, all that force from Drake or if it was just loose. But I mean, most people are going to gonna speculate. Taylor's now taking it to Drake, full control of this match. Got a whip going off that the one good rope. <laughs> oh, that abdominal stretch there. <laughs> He's got that locked in nice. Armpit slap! Punches right to the rip and uh, Taylor. Oh, 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 shit. No, no, don't kill him. Oh, ah! hell no. Oh, 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 Taylor almost oh, lost his head. Oh, oh. You're still a dick. Oh, oh. Monster clothesline right there <laughs> by Taylor. <laughs> Into a cover. Just the two. It looked like a dangerous maneuver coming up right there. I'm not, I, I know I've seen that done before, but I'm not sure what it's called. Luckily, Taylor was able to get out of it into a sunset flip. No. Knee stomps. Just twisting his leg and uh, stomping away at the knee. Smart move to pick apart on Drake's body. I mean, that's, he's holding up a lot of weight there. and. Uh, Starting to really wrench at it, torque it. Well, first he was using working on the lower back. Now he's working on the leg. You want to keep? You want to make sure he keeps grounded, or? Uh, well, I mean, you just saw what he picked him up for. I mean, he, he turned his abdominal stretch into, I mean, almost like fireman's carry into that really nifty move that almost happened. It's called a shwen. Look, look, almost like a Batista did at Triple H at WrestleMania way back in the day. It was not called that. Look, also known as the Celtic Cross. Apparently that, that hammer lock DDT is also called the devil lock DDT, but I mean, some, sometimes we have disagreements on what moves are called, but it was still an impressive move that, that Drake almost had him in. So, Hit him harder! Yeah, you definitely want to keep Drake grounded. Uh, atomic drop. Oh, oh, oh. There goes his Taylor Mays. And here's the pop. Close line. Into a two. Only a two. Drake, a former two-time heavyweight champion, triple crown winner, knows all about winning championships. Yep. Would love to add a Supreme Invitational uh, tournament win to his resume. So would Taylor. I mean, uh, it, it's made uh, guys, it's really helped put them over the top. Oh! Right into the pile. Do a flip! Suicide dive! Do it! Do it, you stupid! Go to the top rope! <laughs> I mean, it looks like it's built for midgets. You'll be right at home, Sife. <laughs> Hit him harder! Give him the Ali shuffle! Five. Blocking the blocking the punch. A couple of Drakes. Baffles fighting back. Uh oh. No. He's got him in the Drake Valley driver. Drake Valley driver into the ring. Oh. <laughs> Impressive. Impressive. And the air and splash. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You can tell, Drake's got to have a little bit of rust going on right now because no one's kicked out of the Drake Vegas Stella driver in a long time. Drake's being a little proactive about, uh, you know, fighting off these young guys. I mean, he hasn't been jumped yet, but you never know. Yet is a key word here in WWE. Big clothesline by Taylor. Drake's reeling. Drake's flaring. Second clothesline. A little slower to get up, but still oh. He's still oh. trying. He, he's, you know, you're not going to keep Drake down that easily, but those are some mean clotheslines. Ah, Knee to the back. back. Smart move. Ah. It worked last week to keep uh, Drake methodically ah. down and pick him apart. What? Taylor making what? fun of uh, Drake's losing. talk show. Black Black says, whoop your ass. 
Taylor's not much about talking. Ah! Oh! Oh! Oh, I ran right into it. Are we gonna see a second one? Oh! Simone drop, never mind. Oh, it was a hard Simone drop. Oh. I thought he was gonna try to get another Drake Valley driver up in there. Drake, do a senton! Russia Payne! Oh, wait. Equilibrium! Follow me, Slam, do it! Tower of Doom. Yes, man. Chop him in the dick. Oh! oh. Buffo Buster. Buffo Buster on Buffo. And Drake is reeling right now, and Taylor is going into a cover. The spinal main. Only a two. Drake does get the shoulder up. Barely, but he did get it up. Taylor is trying to figure out one move to put him away. Drake's up. He's like, no, you get your ass over here. You get Drake your ass back is furious. Over here. You think I get hurt by my Bible Buster? No, but he get winded. <laughs> cardio, cardio. Ooh. Drake Valley driver number two in the nuts in the face. In his face, in his face. Grind it, grind it. Drake is on to the second round. Taylor Bate is the first one eliminated in the 2012 Supreme Invitational. Will Drake join the likes of Olin and Anarchy and win this tournament? We shall see. But we know he's moving on to the second round. We'll find out who he's facing next week later in the show.